Yes, congratulations on the on the film, Stefano. Okay. Um, I was interested to know first of all what attracted you to the project, and bearing in mind, I suppose, what could be viewed as something thematically quite similar to your work on Gomorrah, were you worried about trying to distinguish or create a different voice for this film? Yeah, I I, I was involved uh, early in the project when uh, uh, Carlo Bonini and Giancarlo De Cadaldo start to wrote the book, so I, I read uh, the first draft of the book because I already worked with uh, both of them. Um, Giancarlo De Cadaldo is the writer of uh, Romanzo Criminale, that was a TV show I made for Sky, and um, Carlo Bonini, he wrote the book, uh, All Cops Are Bastard, that was my first feature, so I'm a friend with them. So they shared this, uh, this book, and then I feel the idea, and the title was incredibly nice. And I love the idea to make uh, a contemporary uh, thriller based in Rome with the Pope in. That I mean, it's quite uh, original. Yes. And I don't, I don't think it's uh, it's uh, similar to the to the work I did uh, in uh, in Gomorrah because it's uh, probably w what you feel is the same. Uh, I mean, it's me because I did both. But it's, uh, it's uh, I think uh, Subura is uh, much more complex than uh, Gomorrah. Because the, the different world we are portraying, portraying uh, in, in Subura are much more complex than the only world of uh, crime uh, underworld we portrayed in uh, Gomorrah. Right, I see, yes. Do you, is there... A worry, though, or a, a sensitivity when you approach these sort of ish, these sort of topics, that stereotypes will be drawn overseas. You know, they think of perhaps political corruption in Italy and those things. Is there a worry? I mean, domestically, is it viewed? No, I'm a, I'm not worried because I, I know that this is. I mean, it's just not. A, it's an, it's a problem that we we have in Italy, but you have here. And then it's uh, all over the world. I mean, uh, I I was uh, enough lucky in my life to move a lot, and so I know that. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't feel provincial by speaking of m myself. I, it's I, it's just that I love um, a genre movie. Yes, I, I like gangster movie. So of course this uh, push me in exploring the dark side. And then I don't I don't feel that it's... Um, it, we know that in Rome, you still have an incredible amount of nice and cool thing to watch. This is just a piece, a part, the dark side. And the dark side particularly appeals to you as a, as a filmmaker? Yeah, of course. Say? It's more interesting? Yeah, because I love uh, genre movie. Yes. And then, uh, of course, uh, a villain is much more uh, interesting than uh, a saint for me. Yes. And, and you've, been, you've picked up where there's been some films like Romanzo Criminale and Gamora, and then you've made a successful t TV series. And with Sabura, it seems it's going another way. And you've made the film first, and now it's going to be a TV series. Are you going to be involved in the TV series? No, not really. Is I'm not going to, to make it. Is it because you want to have challenges elsewhere and perhaps... No, it was, uh, the first was uh, for a uh, schedule problem. Right, I see. And um, in relation to Soldado, the sequel, obviously, Sicario, what can you tell us about that? I think it's a, it's a super cool project. We are just discussing it. We are dealing. We, uh, we haven't signed anything. I see. Because yeah. this, this would be your first um, English language. Yeah. Film. I mean, was that always the ambition? Is that the ambition for you to move into English language? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's quite uh, natural for for the kind of movie I'm doing. Um, and you can't say anything about it because rumor has it that Emily Blunt isn't involved in so. No, because it's it's not really a sequel. It's uh, more, and then the idea of the producer is to make uh, an anthological uh, series of movies. So. Standalone movie with the same character, based on the same world. So it's not a direct sequel of Sicario. I was also interested in, 
in in the current climate and, um, and world, there's a lot of content, online streaming, films, a lot of films coming out, the schedule's very full. Do you think that it's harder for foreign language films and television programmes to cross over into the English speaking and become a success now than what it used to be? You mean just by dubbing or oh, by not, remaking? No, no, by having, retaining the original and having subtitles. Whereas, do you think there's not so many that are crossing through, they're struggling to, to make a success overseas because there's so much content now, people have so much to distract them, there's so much to see, that it's harder to have those crossover like A Life is Beautiful and things like that, and Amelie. No, I think that uh, uh, Jenner helps uh, a film like Subura or a TV show like Komora to come to become uh, appealing for an international uh, audience. Because, of course, uh, in uh, e they are a, a perfect balance between uh, uh, exoticism, because they are exotic. They told you about uh, an incredible, strange uh, world, uh, but still, they are done by using a, a common code of the genre of the gangster movie, and so I think I think that this helps this kind of production to become in, interesting for uh, an international audience. And for you, being involved in television and film, which do you think is better? Where does your heart sit? I I, I feel comfortable with uh, both. Uh, I think it depends on, on the idea you have, yeah. on, on the story you have. For example, uh, Subura was super complicated for me to make a movie on, on a such complex book. So in this case, uh, of course, it's, it's absolutely natural to go to a TV show where you have more time to explore uh, many characters uh, or uh, uh, other bits of the story that we lost in the movie. Thank you very much for your time, Thank Stefano. You. Thank you. Great to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!